the issue of, of historic districts, mm -hmm. um, we are always looking to have, in my opinion, more of them and more support for them. But how would a good process, for instance, like maybe in the Charter Revision Commission that we're talking about for 2019, which is one that does look at hopefully all the budget processing, the pre-planning that you talked mm -hmm. about, maybe some of the voting issues that we thought this commission was going to look at, right? We thought that was going to be part of the discussion. But in terms of the historic preservation, are there long-term issues that we should be looking at in terms of a charter? Well, one that would, of course, make sense is to um, require that one of the commissioners have a background in preservation. Currently, it doesn't, but um, the law was written um, before there was um, a professional preservationists and um, graduate schools in historic preservation. So it should remain an independent agency, and there should be a preservationist on it. <clears throat> but I thought you um, and former council member Gorodnik came up with a really good way to handle contentious land use issues, and that was with the Midtown East. You know, you got everybody together, and you had landmarks come in and decide what was going to be landmarked and what wasn't before, before it all started. And everybody came away uh, not entirely happy, but satisfied that they'd been heard. And I think that's what people want in New York today, and that's what people don't feel they have. They want their voice heard. Right. And, the, and certainly the community board is the place to do that. What we did in is somewhat same in East Harlem, you know, again, contentious, but there was a facilitator and then the facilitator worked with the stakeholders. So you ended up with an East Harlem plan and the final plan that passed, zoning didn't completely reflect it, but there's an ongoing discussion, you know, uh, suggestion number 14, it, does it mirror what pass or is it something different and how can we work toward it? But this particular commission could undermine all of that in the sense that it would say these are the ways that we're going to give you resources, you know, this mm -hmm. is what you, we want you to do, mm -hmm. right? So how do you think that um, there are some ideas that came out of the East Harlem planning process that could be instituted that made sense? It was, it was a challenging process, but it community had something to say. It was extremely challenging, and we were very pleased with the fact that we, we had a voice, that we were not just uh, another soundbite, that we were included, that our concerns were being yielded to, and despite the fact that, of course, the final outcome didn't exactly mirror what we were looking for, um, it did include many of the recommendations that were made by the community.